What's going on today, birthday boys? I'm your host, Eric Biggs. As always, JP broke out his cutest outfit today. He really <laughs> tried to go all out, bring out the greens, bring out the blues, a little bit of a homage to the office because we have a very special guest today. Somebody that's came here in a colony formation kind of way. <laughs> um, he's His might, he can lift 47 times his own body weight <laughs> or some shit like that. <laughs> the one, the only, Steven Nor- Norbert. Nailed it. Fuck yeah. Totally nailed it. Also known as the motherfucking ass sauce man. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, dude? Good, man. I'm excited to be here. Fuck yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Appreciate you coming on. I appreciate you and JP coordinating pants together. You that know? Was, <laughs> that, was, that was very nice. Uh, so I could tell. I was like, man, what's JP breaking out these long green pants for? And then I was like, oh, he, they're color coordinating. That was. Yeah. We've been messaging for weeks about this. Yeah. Bro, so. <laughs> yeah. We had to get the outfit down, you know? We're getting our nipple pierced, nipples pierced after this. Matching. Oh. Yeah. Are you guys doing like one on one side, one on the other? That way it's like. Uh, the the Una Twins it's United. Like a friendship, friendship piercing. <laughs> oh, yeah, know? yeah. The next iteration of bracelets. Yeah. Bracelets. You guys are going to have little magnets on them so that whenever they get close enough, they try to connect. At the end. Exactly. Just little dangling chain exactly. magnets. <laughs> <laughs> you get close to each other, they start pulling towards each other. He's close. <laughs> I can feel his presence. <laughs> You get one magnet reversed on one side and the other, <laughs> yeah. it's going to be a very yeah. awkward hug. Yeah, it's going it's to be a real problem. We got tangled. <laughs> We're all twisted up. How did this happen? <laughs> Been there. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so right off the bat, the craziest person I think I've met, putting ants in hot sauce. And it kind of working is so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even lose a bet. It's yeah, like it's, it's for fun. It's, it's so wild that you're like, I'm gonna make hot sauce with ants, and then it turns out actually tasting good. It doesn't make any sense at all. It feels like it should have been a prank. That somebody was like, we're gonna fuck with fuck with Steven. He's gonna <laughs> have to do this whole thing, and it's gonna be an ordeal. And then it turns out it's like, oh, this actually works and tastes good. So. That sucks. You know, me and JP, we keep on trying to come up with business ideas and it never works. Yeah. You know, Hopefully you can give us some, some, some advice at the end of the yeah. show, man. Yeah, have well, some ideas. There's a very fine line between a really good idea and a terrible <laughs> idea. And you've got to go through some terrible ones before yeah. you find the good ones. So, yeah. you yeah. know. Watch out for our, uh, our bidets <laughs> that, are, that spray vodka out of them. That was one of our, that was one of our sales pitches. <laughs> like, we're going to do the bidets that... Give you alcohol enemas, you know. Yeah. I've been thinking of a uh, caffeinated beef jerky as well. Oh. Just uh, that's my own thing. I haven't shared it with Eric yet. Okay. But, um, yeah, you know it's in beta phase right now. So yeah. we'll... I do look like the face of a beef jerky company. <laughs> if I'm being real honest <laughs> with myself, I look I look like somebody that goes, "If that guy's eating it, yeah, you know, do what you're passionate yeah. about." I guess you know. <laughs> yeah. But Stephen, um, so we like to ask, um. Like different types of questions than most interviews do for our, for our new friends and shit, man. Are you cool with that? Do it, yeah. And since it is good. an election year and you know we're following the presidential debate, I have some presidential questions. I guess they're gonna be for Eric too. Maybe I'll awesome. chime in. Oh, all right. If but, I get confused, can I just wander off or? Yeah, yeah. Like, you know? is, there, <laughs> is there a scoring system for this? You know? Yeah. <laughs> sure, I'll, I'll score it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> our our friends at home get to say who lied the most at the end. Exactly. My my mic's going to get cut off. Yeah. <laughs> randomly, intermittently. Yeah. Yeah. They're going. They're making stop over talking. Stop over talking. <laughs> All right, it was with the All right, so the first question is so the, uh, um, the American people can really find out where your values lie, all right? If you had to eat a living celebrity to survive, who would it be and why? <laughs> can we put ant sauce on him? That's, that's true. There we go. I think it would be Ant-Man, obviously, you know? <laughs> Paul Rudd, you taking yeah, Paul Rudd? I mean, one of the most beautiful <laughs> men on earth, but you know... <laughs> Bring the average, yeah, the average down yeah. a little bit for the rest of us. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also, yeah. also, he hasn't aged in like 30 years, and that pisses me off. Also, several people started calling me Ant Man, and he's totally going to sue me if he's yeah. still around. <laughs> yeah. So I'm very worried about him and Marvel. 
<laughs> awesome. That's a great fucking answer, man. Yeah. I like, I like that. that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he hasn't aged, maybe his meat's a little bit more tender, like a veal. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or maybe he's made out of an impossible burger. <laughs> pump full of drugs, probably. <laughs> yeah, so there's, there's no way that, that guy's not pump full of something. Oh, my God. Who would I eat, dude? That's such a... <laughs> This is this is how you can tell the genius minds behind this wonderful <laughs> podcast. This question this took three days to think yeah. of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what 4chan subreddit were you on, JP? I dreamt this one up, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. I'm going to say... All right, if I'm going to eat somebody, I think I'm going to want some, like, some fat on them, you know? Um... I'm going to go with, like, Shane Gillis. I feel like that'd be a good full-course meal, you know? You could eat him for a while. Because of the fat, huh? <laughs> yeah, like, just enough, but not too much. Okay, well, Eric Eric and I have had this talk. Um, do you eat the, the the fat on the steak, buddy? Oh, for sure. Okay, yeah. okay, I guess yeah, you know I'm why? the odd man out. Because this is a real American. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Again, that's this, right. But this fucking Midwestern man, <laughs> you, this <laughs> motherfucker has told me that he will get a ribeye cut the fat off, and then he just leaves it on the plate. And I'm like, I would fight you if I saw that. <laughs> I would cut it off, save it for later, and then yeah. enjoy it, you know, at the proper time. Yeah, or, like, give it to me, you psychopath. <laughs> enjoy it at the proper time, like, it's just in your pocket. And yeah. <laughs> Snack for later, you know, yeah. the fat lasts longer. I used to give it to my dog, and it made him have diarrhea, so I was like, this probably shouldn't be consumed by humans. <laughs> Sounds like but... you need a better dog. Yeah. Yeah, also, I don't think... Faulty dog, Dogs yeah. can't eat anything, dude. <laughs> And they will eat their own shit. So that's such a weird gauge of like, I don't know, he eats his own shit. So he's got good taste buds. I just got to say, though, guys, both you guys went with men. I'm going woman, though, definitely. And it can't be a white dude. It can't be a white like dude. Why? No season. You know what I mean? You gotta... Oh, that's what. That's why I like, though. <laughs> Nothing but ant sauce on him, bitch. For sure. Okay. So you guys get ant sauce on him. the ant sauce dry rub. I'm going Hispanic. <laughs> Okay. A Hispanic woman. Gabriel Iglesias. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going J-Lo because, you know, she's Puerto Rican and they don't matter as much anyways. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> well, and see, the, the only problem with that is you're going to be eating a lot of filler. <laughs> <laughs> That's, you're going to have like 90% rubber in that meal, dude. <laughs> there ain't no way in the fuck that thing's still... Like, even 30% beef. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, well, well okay, funny. Um. Uh, y'all want the next one? Yeah, let's hear All right. it. All right, do it. This next question will give you an insight into your economic policies, guys. All right, so you order a furry butt plug from Amazon, and your sub decides it's too big. It was never used. Maybe it was used, like, half of one time. Are you going to try to return it? Who wants first? <laughs> you could wait, make so much more money selling a lightly used one on eBay than you could returning it. I don't understand. That's see, this man is a marketing genius. Because <laughs> I was like, yeah, why wouldn't I return it? Why do I care what the random guy at the Amazon drop off things? And then he's like, no, you sell it to psychopaths. <laughs> right. You find There's a the, market for that somewhere. Yeah, you Damn. find the scary people the on arbitrage. the internet, and you go, hey. Yeah. I know you who are into smelling feet. <laughs> How about a slightly used? Oh, my God. Okay, so, but here's the real question. You find out you can double your profit margins by using it a full time. She says no. Are you making that sacrifice for the money? If you, hey, if you can double your margins, you outsource that, and you find someone who will use a bunch of them, and you start okay. selling a lot, you know? Okay. This Scalability. Is, this is how brothels no. work, I think. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> America's financing department. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, he gets my vote so far. For yeah, president. actually, that was a great answer. You can though. trust yeah, me. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> America. Oh, my God. That's All awesome. All right. <laughs> Wait, JP, what are you doing? Yeah. All right. I need, to, I need the answer from the guy that this could happen to. <laughs> <laughs> well, it did, and then I... <laughs> This question wasn't a dream. It was. Yeah. <laughs> this happened. He got into a fight with his girlfriend about it. It's like, God damn it. I was too embarrassed, but I. It, it's true. Nobody's going to know, right? I'm just going to put it back in the box and go yeah. give it to the guy at, um, what's that store? Ross or wherever you drop it off. I forgot where you drop it off. Big and yeah. tall. What's up? Yeah. 
<laughs> Big and tall. <laughs> yeah. It was more of a wide and short, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Okay, um, so you still have a halfway used furry butt plug just in your apartment right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think you just leave that in the bathroom for whenever guests come over and they get really freaked out. Yeah. You just want to leave, like, immediately. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> whenever, whenever that one family member stops by and you're yeah. like, oh, I don't really want you here. <laughs> just set this out in the kitchen and, oh, my bad. <laughs> my girl just left. <laughs> and, guys, lastly, um, I believe Americans want... We really deserve a president with strong perception skills. So, who do you think would win in a fight? Megan Thee Stallion or Taylor Swift? <laughs> I think Taylor Swift would win because she has a much more uh, energized fan base and I would be terrified of all those teenagers if they came after me. Yeah. 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 Megan Thee Stallion does look pretty buff, but Taylor, I think, is taller. So I think she's got some, like, you know. Yeah, some reach on her. Yeah. And I could see her doing some, like, aerobics that involve some kind of, like, losing aggression through it. You know what I mean? She just has that kind of, like, white chick face. She just just knows judo, and you're like, what the fuck? (laughs) Yeah, I could see that. I don't trust people who are so well put together. There's something deep inside yeah, yeah, that's so going to come out eventually. Yeah, that's you know? it, man. Yeah, yeah, like you feel like she could snap and really get nasty in a fight, right? Yeah. Like try to and pull off ears happen. or something. You yeah, know? that yeah, that is very true. See, but how tall is Megan Thee Stallion? I thought she was like a pretty big bitch. I think she's 5'7". Let me check it real quick. Oh, okay. I love her. <laughs> Tell us more. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> yeah, so you do use her as an example for things quite a bit. Dude. Oh, she's 5'10", dog. Okay. I was going to say, I thought she was like a pretty big chick. Fuck. That's... Oh, shit. Damn, that... All right, okay. so how tall is Taylor Swift? Look all right, that. yeah. Uh, look, Taylor we Swift. need all the facts. I need to know their reach. Who does more... 5'11". <laughs> she's as tall as me. How tall are you, buddy? 5'11". Yeah. Yeah. Taylor Swift could kick my ass, bro. No doubt. <laughs> what if not her professional football player boyfriend <laughs> definitely could? <laughs> Him and his mustache, he looks like a cop, dude. <laughs> Travis Kelsey just looks like a cop. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see he's getting clowned on for his haircut? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What what's what's the haircut? He just showed up with a bad haircut. That's it. Damn. Yeah. What rough happens? life, you know, rough life. Start I mean, to be fair, though, he's living in Kansas City. He's dating a white woman. <laughs> Where is he supposed to be getting his, his swagger from? You know exactly. what I mean? Like, what are we expecting? He's, his, his best friend's like half black, so I guess that helps. <laughs> <laughs> Mahomes needs to hook him up. But Mahomes is with a white chick, too, so there's no game. There's no game coming out of Kansas City in the, in the swagger department. Okay, yeah, I'm going Taylor Swift because I feel like – she has a gun also on her that you just wouldn't expect. She just, like, pulls out a Derringer. Or just pull out the high heel and stab you in the eye with it. That could be, know. too, yeah. Yeah, hyper-violent. I'm switching to Megan, man. Um, she's been shot in the foot already, so I'm pretty sure she's got some protection on her as well. See, but was that real? Because I thought that a bunch of stuff came out saying that it didn't happen. Really? I don't know. <laughs> you think they let me into black twitter dude <laughs> I mean, see my profile photo and they're like absolutely not <laughs> i thought it was real dog i don't know it probably was what did she get shot for though what happened i don't know tell me about it um, this, is your, this oh, is your wife bro what's happening yeah um so apparently she was caught um stealing makeup at a sephora in cleveland ohio and uh <laughs> I don't fucking know. Some guy named Tori <laughs> accidentally shot her in the foot, dude, while they were in a car or something, yeah. That's the problem. You don't trust men named Tori. That's the gayest <laughs> thing I've ever heard in my fucking life. Tori, come here. <laughs> How do you get shot in the foot while driving? Like, in the car? <laughs> Push the gas. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's down yeah, in the foot well. Yeah, that's bullshit. I don't believe it. Sounds like <laughs> sounds like fake news. We'll find it out for the next episode. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, dude, um, we'll do some deep dive research. The only thing we've ever looked up on this entire podcast. <laughs> Where's your intern for the podcast? You can uh, be looking up facts during <laughs> your, during the episode. Dude, we dude, we need one of those. You should. Yeah, we should for get sure. 
All right, unpaid interns, hit us up. <laughs> <laughs> the the beer cart and the fact checking. It's very important. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we'll just have them come out with a like a ring girl, but it's just like the beer count. And there's like yeah. third beer. <laughs> That way, people can keep track of how off the tra- how off the rails the podcast is gonna get. And if they see the the five beer thing, they're like, "Uh oh, never mind." I have one follow up question, guys. I Ooh. just thought of it. How do you think we would taste? You know what I mean? Like, let's let's go around the table one at a time. Because yeah, I've seen I'm seeing different flavors all across the board here. Yeah, yeah. I, I would taste so amazing. <laughs> I need some no details. Doubt. Okay, no what, have you, what have you eaten today? <laughs> I want to know this stuff before I make. I ate decision. about a pound of chicken before I worked out. So okay, so we're looking at some lean. Got meat. some chicken. <laughs> um, eat a lot of spicy food, so I got this the spice in there. She's got some spice. And, yeah. You know, I don't I don't mess around with any of that unhealthy stuff. Organic. This is the guy. No. <laughs> organic no, that's guy. not what I'm. My <laughs> unhealthy. <laughs> Wait, organic is healthy. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, what's the commercial this, selling? I, I, I was mostly going a, for cotton candy, but I guess yeah. or, you know, organic. <laughs> I used to have a cotton candy maker when I was younger, and so now I'm a very responsible adult by comparison. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. He doesn't just rip cotton candy. In exactly. It. Dude, that would be <laughs> chicken and spicy food today. Do you man. know how uncomfortable I'd be if I went into a grown adult's house and they just had a cotton candy maker? They're just like. Huh? I'm like, what kids are you fucking? Dude, this is wild. <laughs> this is wild. Okay. I think Eric would t- taste like tobacco. It just I yeah. Just dude, no, I, I would. I would taste like tobacco and shitty whiskey, dude. <laughs> be, I would. I'd be uh, charred already on the inside. <laughs> a lot of lot of fat on the steak, dude. <laughs> sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. No, I would not. Con- I would not recommend eating me. For anybody, anybody thinking about it, sound advice. Off. Sounds like you have an ulterior motive here. I don't trust it. Hey, <laughs> what about you, JP? You think you're gonna taste good? You psychopath. I, I'm. I'm fairly sure I would. Yeah, yeah. I. I'd fair to say yes. Um, yeah. What are you guys reading from my vibe today? Okay. Musky. I, what's up? Musky. Musky. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is that like? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it tastes musky. Oh my god. Uh, uh, I don't know. I bet you'd taste good in like a, a flour tortilla or something. You know, <laughs> really where you'd belong. <laughs> okay. For just so you guys know what I've eaten, um, um, a turkey sandwich and wings and two protein shakes. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. I had yeah. some. I had some brisket. Uh, I had. Yeah, I had some brisket and sausage for dinner. Oh then shit! I Eric did, might uh, taste the best out of yeah. us, bro. Yeah, <laughs> you had me your brisket dude. and sausage. Huh? <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, again, I, I We're eat. having healthy meats. This guy's all. <laughs> yeah, sausage dude. and bacon. I'm yeah. gonna. I'm gonna have a heart attack in three weeks. <laughs> when, if I, whenever this comes out, I'll be dead. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then I had a, a ham and cheese sandwich for lunch, like a big kid adult I am. So, but yeah, I, I don't know. I think I think people will probably taste gross. What? Yeah, have you ever seen a cannibal that has a cooking show? No. <laughs> there was, in a basement, if we tasted good at all. Maybe a kid would... I feel like they outlaw all the best things, though, so, you know. Speaking of kids, you know. (laughs) Doesn't get any better, right, JP? You know. (laughs) You're on the the apps. (laughs) Jesus Christ, man. All right, I'm done, bro. <laughs> There's my too, presidential questions, bro. Too far. <laughs> all going to jail. <laughs> yeah. All right, so here's my presidential question. What ant sauce would make you vote for a president? Like, if it came out, you're like, I don't know. I'm probably not phrasing any of this correctly. But if you find out all of the presidential candidates' ant sauce orders... You're like, all right, this person gets original, this person gets teriyaki, this person gets a rub, this per 
what <laughs> what sauce you're like, you know what i trust this in a high pressure situation they need the nuclear codes <laughs> It's all about quantity at that point. If it's, oh, okay. if it's more <laughs> sauce than any person could naturally consume, I would be very impressed. Okay, all right. It's like if it's enough to fill a bathtub, that's, that's how you know That's You're like, there winner. it is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, see, because I was going to say, like, I feel like... I feel like Trump does not season his food. <laughs> you know, you don't put seasoning on McDonald's or KFC. It's... <laughs> And I think those are the only meals he has. <laughs> well, it's balanced. You know, you rotate yeah. between the two, so at least yeah, you have that. Yeah, you get chicken, you get beef, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a healthy guy. Um, but, yeah, no, because I, I always have this theory that I think before every presidential election, uh, you know, like the Spotify re, uh, rewinds, where it gives you, like, all your top songs, top albums, top artists, mm-hmm. I think every president should have to release – what their <laughs> music has been. That way, if you're like, okay, this guy's only been listening to the Star Wars, like, Empire soundtrack, which is like evil music, it's like, no election. <laughs> That's true. Forget <laughs> the IRS records. We <laughs> yeah. want to know what music you listen yeah, to. Yeah, say, like, if Much you find out, better. you're like, oh, they're only listening to Taylor Swift, you're like, all right, there's other trauma going on. <laughs> you might try to bomb a country. <laughs> That's not the best either. Like,. Gotta, but what's the worst type of music? Like if it was only the Muppets, for example. What says Psycho more than anything else? Gosh, okay, this is such a good question. <laughs> See, I would naturally say, honestly, what would scare me the most is somebody that only listen to gospel. Because <laughs> I'd be like, there's demons. No one could be that good. <laughs> yeah, I'm like there's bodies buried underneath <laughs> their house. That would make me very nervous. What are they trying to pray away? Yeah, yeah. It's like why no one needs to pray that often. All right, <laughs> no one needs Father who art thou on the way to work every day. But that's just me. What about you? What do you think? What would you see and be like? That's scary. I'm no longer voting for this person. I think something like the Muppets that just like really, really <laughs> yeah. painfully happy and upbeat all the yeah. time. Yeah, and you're like Bill Clinton. Why are you doing this? You know, like. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think too much Alanis Morissette could drive anybody <laughs> over the brink, you know. <laughs> but I think just people me. listen to angry music probably are more emotionally healthy and adjusted because they express their feelings. It's people who repress it and hold it in, you got to watch out for. Hmm. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. What's your go to karaoke? Karaoke. Yeah. I'm a terrible singer, and so it's whatever whatever bet I lose or whatever friend drags me up there is what I'm going to sing, but I never volunteer. Oh, no shit. So if, yeah. like, you lost a bet with me, like, you'd be okay <laughs> if I signed you up for a song? I'm a... <laughs> it's a difficult <laughs> balance because... I'm thinking Sheryl Crow. I'm a, I'm a really bad <laughs> singer, but yeah. I have very little sense of shame in public, and so I'm easily <laughs> encouraged to do awesome, things embarrassing. Bro. So, when, the the people who watch don't win, but the friends who get to watch me be humiliated will get a win. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's actually a service I offer to my friends. It's like, look, yeah, like, I'll make you look better by comparison. Yeah, I'll do. So hang I'll out do with this me tonight, and yeah. that's happening. Yeah. Okay. So here's a question for you: You're out at a bar with a group of friends. One of your buddies gets ready. He's going up. He's singing karaoke. Everyone's been <clears throat> belting out like. You know, crazy songs, singing, like, really good. It's like one of those karaoke bars where <clears throat> people actually know how to sing. All of a sudden, your buddy's like, hey, I'm going up there. And he starts singing Monster Mash. How are you <laughs> going to feel about that? <laughs> <laughs> As if uh, someone else is up there, I'm in. Okay. I feel uh, like the, the the more awkward play would be something like Skyrocket, uh, Skyrockets in Flight. Oh, okay. You All know, right, you make yeah. someone... Have you seen Arrested Development? Yeah. The yeah, yeah. very cringeworthy, yeah. late late in the song, uh, Epiphany. Yeah. That's what you want to sing with uh, with a buddy who's had a few too many drinks until late okay. in the song to realize what's going on. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, well, because, I mean, I know some some guys over here, they like to get spooky with it whenever they go, <laughs> yeah. up, go up to sing. No doubt. And it was the funniest thing I've ever <laughs> experienced in my life. Well, because it wasn't Monster Bash. What was it that you... It was the Nightmare Before Christmas song, right? Yeah, it was Jax Lamont. Do you remember that yeah. movie? You ever seen no, the Nightmare? No, no. Okay. Oh, my gosh. 
It was so fun because there, <laughs> we go over to this bar and we're hanging out and uh, everybody, they're going up and they're like belting out and like singing <laughs> wild songs. And I'm like, I didn't think that this is what karaoke was for. And JP <laughs> looks at me and he goes, fuck. I'm like, what? <laughs> and he's like, I misread this room. <laughs> And I go, what did you do? And he goes, you know, the Nightmare Before Halloween? And I go, yeah. And he's like, I'm singing one of those songs. <laughs> and he went up at like 1130 at night. The <laughs> whole bar is hammered. And he gave quite the performance of it going all the way in. And I giggled like a schoolgirl for the entire performance. It was fantastic. Yeah. It was one of those moments, Stephen, where I just felt like I needed my presence to be like known quickly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wanted to yeah, I've been there. Show He's like, my, I don't show my domination, you know, yeah. real quick, and <laughs> my alpha. Yeah, I just let it all out for him, you know. So yeah, yeah, he he didn't want to get laid. That's all. He was, just, he was just like, you know what? I'm actually we're just chilling with the boys tonight. I was full super super villain mode yeah. that day. Yeah. Yeah, it was very it was very funny. But I like to I like to try to bring these <laughs> sort of things up randomly. So you deal with karaoke the same way as bullies. <laughs> you just gotta <laughs> right you gotta on. get out there and intimidate some people early in the game. Yeah, like prison. You know what I mean? You gotta go. <laughs> yeah, and makes sense. Punch the biggest guy first. You know? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well that's that's amazing. Um, Man, I want to make uh, a bet with you now, so that by the end of the episode, one of us has to do like. An Alanis Morissette song or something. <laughs> Do you like? Did, did you listen to Alanis back in the day? No, I didn't. No. Okay. Do you know her music at all? I know a few of her songs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Don't dislike the style. Eric, what about you, man? Familiar. Do you know who she is? I recognize the name, but I don't know if I could tell you very many songs. Oh. I feel like it's a little. It's a. This is a bad bit then. It's yeah. Really good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like this is a little. I'm, I feel like I'm missing something. You know what I mean? I've been practicing. You ought to know, like a crazy person, like in the car. You guys yeah. don't get that. All right, fucking never mind. Yeah. <laughs> I like the commitment. Someone at home is laughing. <laughs> That's what matters. We do this for you. <laughs> but, okay. So, on on the serious note. Wait. What were all the other notes that we were doing? <laughs> This is oh, it was pretty serious. Don't you worry. <laughs> but JP touching kids, those were the soundtracks. <laughs> it's just it's just my insurance for in fifty years if he tries to blackmail me for something I said on the podcast. They're like, hey, we all said some crazy shit. <laughs> but um, so ant sauce, where where did you come up with the idea? Tell all the people at home what is the what is the ant sauce origin story? It was a several part process. One is I've worked in startup food and beverage for about 15 years. And so I think after a few different iterations of developing concepts, I settled on this idea of what if you could create or discover a flavor that no one's ever tasted before? Because every or <clears throat> most food products are just iterations of very familiar flavors. You're mm -hmm. like, I added peanut butter to this thing you've had a thousand times. Not yeah. really that interesting. So what if you find something so different and so unique that no one's ever had it? So yeah. that was part of it. And then the second element was, obviously you can't predict the future, but what if you can find a trend that you know for sure is gonna grow for 10 or 20 years? Yeah. And so sustainable food, I think, is one of those trends. Um, it's only gonna get more popular, only more people are gonna buy it and care about it. And edible insects are one of those things that are taking off and there are very clear psychological issues with this, yeah. mostly, Westerners think bugs are gross and they yeah. don't want to eat them. Yeah. But of all the insects that exist, there are like five plus million species of bugs. Um, there have to be a few that are really unique. Like if you're just crunching the numbers and doing the math, there are probably yeah. a few. And ants, I think, are the most interesting because <clears throat> unlike other insects, ants are little chemists. They create pheromones, they create chemicals and acids, and there are 15,000 different species of ants. And so some of them taste terrible. I actually eat a lot of random ants crawling yeah. around on the ground. I can tell you, <laughs> do not recommend some of the ants that are out there. Okay. But there actually are some really unique flavors from yeah. ants. We work with a scientist in Europe and try to figure out which species have the most unique flavors yeah. from a chemical perspective. And so that makes for a fascinating, I think, gourmet food product. Yeah. So each of those things took a while to piece together. But that's why I settled on, yes, of all the ideas out there, 
I want to put ants in sauce and sell it to strangers on the internet. Yeah. And that's where we're at now. <laughs> well, I say, I, we, we met, I don't know, quite, quite a while back. Um, cause you, uh, do a lot of commercials, a lot of other comedians, kind of started seeing stuff. We got into contact and I remember the first time we met, I was like, this is such an interesting thing. <laughs> I need to talk to this guy one way or another. Like, I just like, there's just something about this being an idea. It's so funny to me. Because the, you know, the eating crickets and eating roaches and all that stuff is, like, kind of a thing you hear about every once yeah. in a while. Like, I got a, a cousin-in-law now that uh, he makes, like, spider cookies or cicada cookies or something weird. Interesting. I told him I'd fight him if he ever gave me one. <laughs> you know? I was, I was like, don't do that to me, okay? Yeah. Like, I, you know, but I, uh, there's something about the, the ant thing. Because also, you don't really care if you eat an ant. It's tiny. Yeah. You I think know, I think they're very unique. If you have say five worms or grasshoppers in your kitchen. Yeah. Moving around, you're going to get grossed out if you have five ants, you're probably yeah. not going to think twice about it. And yeah. I think that's unique of ants unlike any other insect, which makes it easier to think about eating them. Yeah. And we grind up the ants in a recipe so you don't really see see what you're eating either, which helps a lot. Yeah. You just get the aromatics and the flavor. Yeah. Which does make for a very interesting like all the flavors are very unique because it's kind of like you said you know a lot of flavors it's not really it, it's kind of hard to have a new barbecue sauce right there's so many of them yeah so it does add a, a brand new flavor that you're kind of like oh this is weird it tastes kind of antsy yeah i don't know what that means but <laughs> yeah, it tastes it, like that yeah well dude imagine oh my god if you start a thing where people are then able to say this tastes tastes very ant antsy <laughs> that's gonna be very because <laughs> i don't know of anyone else that's putting ants in food yeah i i think this is the the first iteration of this that i have seen i've seen guys trying to sell uh cricket protein bars right they're disgusting that's not a <laughs> <laughs> not a fan you would yeah, not recommend. Yeah, it's <laughs> not a it's not a good I wouldn't I wouldn't send it home to my parents. You know yeah, what I mean? Right. But I am you might send it home to someone you don't like. Yeah, but, yeah, you I might know. be like, Hey, here's some protein bars. <laughs> so the thing about the ants, I tell people ant sauce, you should buy it for people you love or hate. Yeah. Depending <laughs> on their feeling about the thing. Uh, but ants have been popularly consumed in Latin America and, and Asia and different cultures around the world. And a variety of Michelin star winning restaurants have used ants in the last decade. Really? But you are not going to find ants in many products in the U.S. And I don't know of anyone who's doing uh, like consumer package goods yeah. with ants. And so that's the thing we want to do is, <clears throat> sure, you could find ants at street food if you go to Colombia or Thailand or Mexico. Yeah. Sure, if you go to the fanciest restaurant in the world, maybe you can get ants. But yeah. let's uh, make some food products and sauces out of it and yeah. sell it like that. Yeah, and if you go to Sixth Street Austin, you might get roaches in your food, but they aren't cooked. They're just, you know, they're just hanging out down there. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I, gu I guarantee everyone's already eaten ants yeah. accidentally because ants yeah. have done everything. So it's not like you're really changing your diet that much. Yeah. At least you can eat them on purpose this time. I had an idea, man. Like, okay, like a Bloody Mary with ant sauce in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, or what like uh, more like cocktails? Maybe you can use it as like a flavoring for like a beer or something to make like a Ooh. like they make those Bud Light Micheladas. I don't yeah. know if you've ever seen those, yeah. you know. But um, yeah, they sell. You know what I mean? Could be a fun. Yeah, little there are actually a, a couple gins in the UK and Australia that have ants infused in them with other botanicals. And so I wish that I could say putting ants in alcohol was my idea, but <laughs> people have been doing it for thousands of years apparently. Yeah. But I think for cocktails, because some of the species of ants are extremely acidic, Yeah. Uh, all the formic acid is their defensive mechanism, makes them very s sour. Oh, okay. And so a lot of cocktails are sour, especially margaritas, I think, Yeah. would be a really interesting, this earthy sour mix or wh wh whiskey sour, one of my favorite cocktails, yeah. would work also. And so I think Same. you could do some of the, the sour cocktails with ants to add this earthy, smoky, flavorful punch to it. Yeah. So next I, podcast, we should just uh, drink a bunch of dude, I, liquor with ants in it and see where that goes. What are you doing dude. tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> dude, uh, Bud Light uh, Limeritas, but with ant stuff for alcohol. Dude, yeah. I'm down with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're, he's a Missouri boy. Exactly. Bud Light, fucking hit it up, hit him up, there hit we him go. up, and then 
Sponsor me too, because why not? And uh, <laughs> Midwesterners, we're, we're trying to support. We know you guys are actually in Germany or some shit now, but who cares? Exactly. <laughs> we're not going to talk about that. Uh, so early in our process, we we made a bunch of crazy products just to like figure out what mm-hmm. what in the world will people actually spend their own money to buy that has yeah. ants in it? Because I we just didn't know. Yeah. Now we've settled on kind of our top seven most popular products. But early on, we made two dozen different products. And my favorite one that I really, really wish we could have gotten to take off was Pixie Sticks, which has <laughs> sugar, but then the ground up ants makes it really, really tart. Like the, oh. some species of ants have a shockingly low pH. And so just okay. like sour candy, which is my favorite kind of candy, yeah. the ants make it very sour. And then they add this really funky, earthy, smoky, citrusy like combination to it. That's and so I'm wild. like... Pixie Sticks is the way to go. Um, but uh, it was not the most popular, and there's some manufacturing issues of if you're just trying to do a small batch. You can't really do a small batch Pixie oh, Sticks. Pixie you Sticks, yeah. A manufacturer. So we'll have yeah. to reboot that in a few years, maybe. Oh, my gosh. Dude, that's so... <laughs> that was one of my favorites. I love that idea. <laughs> <laughs> just ripping Pixie Sticks that that's have right. ants in them. That's, that's how you get the next generation of ant enthusiasts. Yeah. Pixie cool. sticks is like sugar for for kids. Yeah. Is like the drugs. So well, and also these little children weirdos, they're eating b- bugs anyways. Just mix it in properly. That's true. You know, yeah, like, that's right. Every little kid is eating some kind of bug, probably, or at least I'm just trash. That could be also. <laughs> that might be the other angle that's happening right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so you're originally from the Midwest. What do your parents think of the the ant? In food idea, not my craziest ideas, but they're on board. <laughs> um, I I studied psychology in college, and so oh, now okay. I like, mom, I'm finally using my college degree, <laughs> yeah. convincing people to pay money to eat bugs. Yeah, and so I feel Getting like you know, finally after all these years, all that hard work okay. is paying off. That's so awesome. Okay. They're I don't know that they love the products, but they're surprisingly. Uh, on board amused with and on board with the okay. idea and the support yeah because i know whenever <laughs> i was I, I told my my parents about it and uh my one uncle is very conspiracy theory nine <laughs> billion kind of guy and he just goes you're eating bugs the new world order like all this stuff and i was like what whoa waggy <laughs> and i'm getting them fired up so i cannot wait to bring aunt sauce back to uh, family christmas that's, that's right and just be like hey i made you guys enchiladas or you know just something i can just like sneak it in there and be like there you go try that out and then be like you ate bugs liberal <laughs> Your right, family's it's... never eaten enchiladas and you know it, bro. <laughs> hey, we call them that, you know? <laughs> it's got a hot dog in it, but whatever. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny the number of conspiracy theory folks, especially on, lo- on social media, yeah. who are never heard of Van Sauce, but they are vocal about criticizing it. Yeah. <laughs> and so initially I was a little bit, you know, frustrated or annoyed yeah. with, like, how do I reason with people like this and i was like no if people like this believe this you should figure out what else they believe (laughs) and so then i started putting out uh responses like well if you're afraid of the ants just wait until our government sponsored uh program with ants the size of chickens comes out and then you'll really be afraid and some of them will believe that yeah Dude, the next ant sauce commercial is just an Illuminati symbol <laughs> that right. flashes right before the ant sauce logo comes up. It's just real quick. So they're like, well, if you watch it on 1 100th speed, you see it. Exactly. <laughs> so start fucking with them. Ant sauce sponsored by the Denver airport. <laughs> <laughs> the commercials are cool, dude. I've, I've yeah, seen those fan. all over Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, uh, maybe I can like uh, post one or two in the edit here for yeah. you. Yeah. But uh, I was telling Eric before, maybe we could do some kind of like improv about making commercials. Because yeah. It doesn't have to be about ant sauce if you don't want it to be. Just you seem smart as fuck, dude, about like 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 the marketing <laughs> and business and shit. Well, you maybe, so. Yeah, maybe we can come up with something now. You know, what do you think, Eric? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I I had an idea I was thinking about earlier. Hell yeah. So um, so JP is a ladies' man. Well, no doubt. No. No doubt. You know. Those, those green pants. You, dude, know, you don't have to tell me. You don't have to <laughs> tell me. He knows what happens when you wear green pants around all these whores, dude. You get them fired up. Uh, but, yes, yeah, so, I mean, J, JP's a little bit of a ladies' man. So, I was, you know, thinking that in the ant sauce vein, 
you know, JP goes, he brings this lady home, and he's like, hey, how about you give me some head? And she goes, no, I would never. And then he pulls out some ass sauce, and he's like, hey, what about now? She goes, wow. And then right in, and then, you know, ass sauce. I was, I was thinking about it, I was like, there we go. That's... <laughs> That's fucking genius. Okay, okay. When I say, okay, what about now? Then, like, all of a sudden, like, her clothes just flies off, too. Yeah, of, of course. God you damn. Know, four out of ten times, it works every time. <laughs> Paul Rudd again, bro. Exactly. I like the callback. Totally exactly. circling back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Paul Rudd actually secretly owns Aunt Sauce, but he can't let exactly. anybody know. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's actual government conspiracy theory. That's why Paul Rudd looks so young. He's been eating ants for years. <laughs> The secret, <laughs> secret ingredient. Dude, we found, we found out Magical about the Illuminati. Formula. That's right. <laughs> it's all coming together here. The Birthday Boys <laughs> Podcast. <laughs> oh, oh my God. So we got, we, we know sex sells, right? Yeah. yeah, sex sells. That's a beautiful start, right? What else sells? What else is evergreen, right, as they say? Um, <laughs> fear. <laughs> fear? If you, if you're, fear is a very powerful motivator. <laughs> yeah. I feel like... Uh, most we scare people with most sex. presidential <laughs> candidates, in fact, uh, like to leverage fear to get voted for. But yeah, you got to use yeah. fear to convince people to buy your product. Otherwise, okay, why do they care? So, <laughs> starts off wide shot, wide shot, January sixth. <laughs> Straight from there, <laughs> the George Floyd riots. Right after that, we have a home invasion. <laughs> they break in the house. The mom pulls out a bottle of ant sauce, busts the guy in the head with it. It's now a stabbable weapon. <laughs> she kills three more, and they go, it goes, ant sauce, fuck them, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you got to keep that thing on, you dog. <laughs> <laughs> then you start selling ant sauce holsters. Ant sauce for more than just the sauce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every third bottle is extra breakable, so you can fight off the <laughs> And then we only sell them in four packs, all right? It's <laughs> fucking crazy, man. <laughs> Uh, I'm not saying these are good ideas. You know what so I mean? So you, you write a lot of commercials for companies. That sound <laughs> like. yeah. Ar Arby's can't wait to work with me. <laughs> really, just the, the really big corporations is, is who you prefer to yeah. work with. Yeah. Uh, Jason Aldean hit me up about his last music video, you know. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> We'll leave the marketing to the guy that knows what he's doing, I guess, JP. Let's I'm trying I'm trying to think of one, okay. You got one? For some reason I'm seeing Beyonce Okay um reunites with, with the other of the Destiny's um kids, children. <laughs> Destiny's children. Destiny's right? child. Destiny's child. No. Yeah. Um, Eric, take it from here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, that's it. That's all that's all, that's all there is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a casting I'm guy, complete, you know what I'm yeah. <laughs> I bring the talent, you I don't know. the right people, <laughs> and then they do stuff. <laughs> yeah. No, you can. Then they, they scare people. They got to, they gotta like, bring fear into somebody, you know what I mean? So Destiny Children make a new song about... They hunt down Justin Timberlake. Because he's been acting <laughs> About cool running later. out of ant sauce, maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's what he actually, that's what he was drunk driving on. <laughs> too much yeah, ant sauce. too much. Too much acidic. It was right to the brain if yeah. you don't have a tolerance built up. <laughs> it was too acidic. He couldn't take it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was over the limit. <laughs> uh, yeah, my only other thought was you could just do the, what was it, the Kylie Jenner, where they're, it's like the middle of the protest. She brings a Pepsi to the riot police or whatever. <laughs> and then they're like, everything's okay. Never mind, we're drinking Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that somebody got, like, spent millions of dollars, I'm sure, on that commercial <laughs> is the funniest thing to me. Because you can tell it feels like somebody just gave up and they were like, I don't know, get Kylie Jenner, I guess she's hot. She takes Pepsi to the cops. <laughs> and then the world is fine. <laughs> it solves all the problems. <laughs> oh my it's god. It's probably an AI idea. Yeah, it, it probably was. It probably was. Oh my gosh. Wasn't that a Super Bowl commercial? Am I remembering uh, maybe, that I right? Don't know. I don't think Sounds it was a Super Bowl. 
Maybe a meteor. You got, meteor you got notes bowl. on it, Jay. <laughs> Check the old Kylie <laughs> notes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> His notes about everything she's done since <laughs> 2004. <laughs> oh my gosh. So what's on the uh, what's on the horizon for Ant Sauce? <clears throat> yeah, what's do we on have the... Do we have any big big uh, events coming up? Any big sauce launches? Anything like that? We do. We're launching two new products in the next few weeks, which okay. I'm very excited about. And so, our sauce, most sorry sauce launches. That sounds a little kinky, if you know. What I'm <laughs> yeah. like. Go ahead. Sorry about that. Exactly. <laughs> so our most popular product, uh, the ant sauce, which tastes like a soy sauce, very yeah. very flavorful, lots of umami, lots of flavor. Um, we're doing two new versions: one that's spicy and one that's extremely spicy. Okay. And so I think it's the most unique product we have, and so we're going to iterate on on that line of products. I like that. Yeah. That'll be sweet. Also, ant sauce launch. Another commercial idea over here. <laughs> <laughs> what there's, if we send ant sauce to space? Exactly. Is that, is that where you're going? Yeah, yeah. There's those astronauts yeah. stuck in space right now. Exactly. Send, a giant bottle of ant like, sauce shoots up there. We to get can't them. get you home, but we'll send, <laughs> we'll send you ant sauce. Elon Musk takes it up there personally. He goes, hey, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're going to actually still live in space for nine more months. <laughs> we spent all our money getting this up to you. <laughs> yeah. We couldn't get your back home. Yeah, sorry. But. <laughs> Should have thought about that before you went to space. <laughs> yeah. You dumbass, dude. What are you, what are you doing? We live on Earth, idiot. <laughs> oh, you guys had to be so smart. No gravity. Oh, my gosh. Well, that's awesome. So how many current flavors all are there? There's around 10 right now, right? So we have nine products, and we're okay. going to narrow it down to seven. Okay. And so it's sort of this uh, throw a whole bunch of products out there, see what works, yeah. and track the lineup to the most popular, and then down the road we'll probably add more out. But okay. it's found that we found that it's a little bit confusing. People are not even familiar with the idea of putting ants in sauce, and you give them too many products, it's overwhelming. Yeah, kind of hard so to So now that we have a better with. idea of what resonates and what the best products are, we're going to focus in on the best ones for a while. And then we okay. can build more out. Gotcha. You're still doing the, the dry rubs? Yeah, so we have two seasonings, the finishing salt, fancy yeah. flaky sea salt with the ants, and then a general grilling seasoning, which is, yeah. I consider that the gateway product because it's, it's delicious. Yeah, it's it very It has very the good. least uh, amount of ant flavor of any of them, and so it helps people get over that kind of mental hurdle of yeah. this is delicious and familiar, and so yeah. of course I'll eat it. Yeah, see, so I, I did a... a a rub on a bunch of pork steaks with it uh after i don't know probably about a month or so ago we had a couple friends in town and i was like oh and then i was you know cooked it up and let people eat it. i was like oh you guys like that oh yeah it's yeah. good and i was like you guys ate ants <laughs> <laughs> surprise <laughs> it's it's my fun little fun little game i play where people are like what are you talking about i was like look it says it on the bottle <laughs> It must be true if it yeah. has it on the label. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're, they're like, are you printing fake labels so that you can fuck with us? Is that what's happening now? You psychopath? Say, buddy, I had a question about, you said you had an extra spicy one coming out? Is that what you said? Yeah, that's right. Um, so, like, are you um, looking into, like, Scovilles of it or anything in comparison to, like, other hot sauces? Or? We're going to have you eat as much as possible before you pass out, and then that will be the ranking system we use for how hot it is. Oh, okay. I assume you're okay with that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll we're do just, it. We're, we're, we're not yet doing mouth. the Scovilles, but we're uh, we're using uh, Carolina Reaper peppers and ghost peppers, so oh, it's going to be shoot. definitely on the hot on the hot end. Yeah. Hotter than anything we've made so far. Have you tasted it yet? <clears throat> I uh, It's not finalized, but I'm the one who's making it, so I've tasted multiple iterations of it and gotcha. still trying to dial in the exact amount of heat. I see, I see. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's see, cool. that's scary to me that you say it's hotter than anything you guys have, because whenever I did that taste testing shit, that one you guys had kicked my ass. Yeah. Really? I was sweating my dick off. Our, our hot sauce, it's going to be similar, slightly hotter, but it's not going to be like two or three times hotter, just okay. a little oh, okay. bit beyond that. Yeah, because it, it got me. Batteries. Also, we we did try some hot sauces on the podcast, and JP just made fun of me. <laughs> the entire time, he's like, oh, this isn't even a big deal. And then we tried the uh, that the bomb. Yeah. Yeah, I want to physically assault everyone <laughs> who was involved in making that. 
<laughs> and everyone hit hot ones. It won't be as hot as that, I can promise you that. Thank God. Because that's, it's, <laughs> the, in, yeah, it's not tolerable. The goal is to um, still be able to retain a sense of smell and taste. Yeah. To enjoy the experience. Yeah. I, not to just make people miserable. Yeah. So, I so find balance. I like that. Yeah. I like whenever I get to actually still eat the food. Yeah. And not be like, oh, I'm miserable and sweaty now. Yeah. And that's why we're doing two heat levels with the end sauce. That yeah. way there's, you know, something for everybody, yeah. really. kind of some iteration. Yeah. Iterations of yeah. That's kind cool, of whatever man. you're at. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. What's the uh, the hottest sauce that you have right now? What is that um, pepper based on? So that's the same. It's the Carolina Reaper and the Ghost Pepper. Oh, our okay. Hot sauce. Okay. And so we're kind of tasting some of, the, taking some of the best flavors from that and combining it with our most flavorful base, the ant sauce, and kind of merging two of our best products together to make an even better one. Oh, There's sweet. I gotcha. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, because that, that Reaper, I got fucked up. It, it, was, <laughs> it was bad. It got a little sweaty back there, yeah, I dude, remember. I, yeah, I was sweating my goddamn ass off. <laughs> it was very aggressive. And I was like, this is, and then the bad thing is, is no one else agreed with me that I was doing the taste <laughs> testing. They're like, that wasn't a big deal at all. And I'm like, you guys all suck. <laughs> Hot sauce is one of the most polarizing food products oh, because yeah. people are so, you know, different in their thresholds. Yeah. 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 So I, I always thought I was good until I moved to Texas yeah. and everything has jalapenos <laughs> it's on like it. Because in Missouri, no one eats any spice, yeah. right? And so if you have a little bit of pepper on your food, you're yeah. this wild man. Yeah. You're like, oh, this is this is great. Like you put a couple of jalapenos on something and be like, whoa, calm down. <laughs> Down here fast food restaurants put jalapenos on their burgers it's yeah. wild <laughs> not in short supply <laughs> well um as we're coming to our our great finish if somebody is going to go and order some ant sauce how do they find you um where do they uh you guys have an instagram page a uh, bunch of comics doing all those great videos but where do they where what's the best way to find you guys get in contact with you guys so our website's anscormay.com, and that's where we sell all of our products. Perfect. And then our main social media is Instagram, also anscormay. Yeah. And uh, that's how I think we met, because yeah. we worked with a lot of local comedians in Austin to do everything from taste tests to comedy sketches. And uh, so we try to invest in the comedy community in Austin yeah. to make people laugh so they won't think about the fact that they're eating ants yeah that's although perfect. actually we're trying to make people think about the fact that they're eating ants because there's a lot i think to it yeah but yeah instagram and our website okay well perfect and uh get look out for the new sauce that's coming out and you said about two weeks so it'll be soon yeah probably, a, few, a few weeks away probably by the time this comes out it'll be out because we're looking at what like a month out from, maybe th yeah three or four weeks maybe yeah three yeah, or four weeks late september day. so yeah we'll we'll be looking at probably being out um JP, you got anything to plug before we wrap up today? Um, no, just uh, subscribe and like to this. Um, JP with the good hair on the gram for all my other projects. Um, thanks so much, buddy. You, you, you yeah. fucking rock, a blast. man. Thanks yeah, man. Much, this yeah. is awesome. You're funny Fantastic. as fuck, too, doggy. <laughs> yeah. I'll take thanks, one man. last one. Yeah. Appreciate you. Hell yeah. Green Short Nation, watch out. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, hey, thank you very much, guys. Cheers. Yeah. Thank you for coming Birthday on. Birthday, boys. Amazing. Thank you so much. Cheers, Birthday buddy. Boys. Yeah. See you guys. Thanks for the beer. <laughs>